Hi, this is JB from Not Alive Over Arkham. Uh, this is another episode of the Chaos Magic series, and it is becoming the series that he, can I beat a villain playing a random hero with a random aspect. And last time I actually did a random deck also, so I didn't uh, build the deck, but used this uh, website that was suggested for me. I am using that website again. It has had some upgrades to it, so uh, really interested to see how that functions. The only change is that if I roll a villain a bit um, heroic difficulty, I will re-roll standard because it is just too hard to uh, play against the expert uh, difficulty villain with a randomly generated hero and deck, so not wanting to punish myself that much. So again, I am using the trusty Marvel Champions deck builder app. So let's randomize our hero. And this time we are playing Iron Man Protection, so a classic hero. And I think that will usually be good enough against uh, standard difficulty villains, so uh, Iron Man protection for the hero, and let's see what which villain they get. And again, we don't have the uh, galaxy's most wanted villains here, so we are fighting against crossbones, and uh, we have the Hydra uh, campaign modular sets, whatever that means. So I think it means. We are using the standard sets from that campaign, and it is on standard difficulty. So Iron Man protection against crossbones. Let's get started. So unfortunately, the website was under maintenance, so I couldn't use the randomizer. It wasn't working properly. So I had to build an Iron Man deck, and this is what I came up with on the fly, so nothing really special, just some cards I thought I would like to try in, um, Iron Man Protection. So we have a bunch of allies here, so we have Clea, uh, a decent ally, then uh, Cosmo is a new ally I want to try in this deck just to see how that works. Uh, Iron Fist is a regular uh, protection ally. We have Iron Heart. Star Hawk is also a decent one. And uh, then some of the newer cards I have Bait and Switch for some threat removal. Uh, usually Iron Man can handle the extra damage. And uh, of course, I can just jump up some allies. So that uh, the bait and switch doesn't kill Iron Man off, and I can remove red. But usually Iron Man should have enough red removal either way. Then uh, we have Ever Vigilant, which is a newer card, and because Iron Man can get aerial with the boot, so Ever Vigilant could be really interesting and good red removal card. Usual resources. Uh, usual Avenger mansions, etc. As you can see, there hasn't been a lot of thought making this deck. But yeah, um, some of the newer cards again. Dauntless is a good uh, card for Iron Man because uh, with the upgrades, I have usually a higher hit point total than the printed one. And then, of course, uh, Extra protection from electrostatic armor, arm quest, and energy barrier. So that is basically the deck. So uh, I have already built the crossbones deck, and it has the Hydra Assault and uh, Legions of Hydra modular sets, and of course the experimental weapons. Then uh, Iron Man has. Uh, protection and some basic cards. So, unfortunately, the uh, randomizer website didn't function as, as it should have, but um, it, it 
it's getting an update, so I will try that out later after some testing first to see that it works before I start filming. So sorry about that, but uh, look forward to the gameplay video of Iron Man Protection versus Crossbones on standard difficulty. Thanks for watching and until next time.